Hi everyone, in this video I will walk you through solving a system of linear equations using the Jacobi iteration method in Microsoft Excel. Before we get into the problem here, I would recommend you check out our previous video on Jacobi iteration theory, for which I will post a link in the description below if you want to check that out. As a summary, for Jacobi iteration we need a square matrix that is linear and ideally diagonally dominant. The reason we ideally want our matrix to be diagonally dominant is that we are guaranteed convergence when using iterative methods on linear systems if our system is diagonally dominant. Alright, so we are given this matrix here, and let's say we want to see how many iterations it will take us to achieve a solution accuracy of 0.005 for all of our independent equations. So where do we begin? Well, although not necessary, it is often wise to check if our matrix is diagonally dominant. I've proven this in a previous video in which we solved this problem by hand. So if you're interested in why this matrix is considered diagonally dominant, check out that video in the description below. Let's set up this Excel sheet to solve for any system of linear equations that is five by five or smaller. I will only be solving a three by three matrix in this example though. You could easily adjust this for larger systems of equations as well by just adding another row and column for each additional independent equation you have. So let's create a column title and a title for all of our x values. Through this we will be able to put in any matrix coefficients in here and solve our matrix. Now let's go ahead and set up a table with our current values of x in our columns and our number of iterations in our rows. As our matrix of interest here is diagonally dominant, our initial guesses does not matter and we can therefore just assume a zero matrix. So that means that all of our values of x are initially all assumed a zero. Just to note, if your matrix is not diagonally dominant, it just means that if your matrix diverges when your error gets larger and larger every iteration, you need a better starting guess for your initial x values, or that your matrix is singular, at which point it doesn't have a unique solution, and it will always diverge no matter what your initial guess is. To solve a system of linear equations using Jacobi iteration, it is necessary for us to convert each independent equation into an equation that solves for one of our unknown values. Here I've shown you what that looks like for all three of these independent equations. We then need to type in these equations, each column here representing one of our equations. Just note that I am adding a dollar sign for the coefficients of our matrix. This is very important as when we iterate our problem later, we always want our cells to refer to these values here. If we didn't have the dollar sign, every time we drag a cell down, which is how we are iterating, Excel will take the value below the cell that we actually want. You can see what I mean here, it is taking the value below and not the coefficient that we actually want. Now that we have all of our initial x guesses put into our spreadsheet, let's add in a section for each of the independent equations so that we can check how much error we have at each iteration. This can easily be done by setting all of our equations equal to zero. By doing it this way, we essentially can see how far we are off from a true value with our assumed x values. And that is all you need to do. Now you can just extend these columns down and every row generated is another iteration. All we need to do now is look and see where our error for all three of our independent equations is below our acceptable level of error, and then we have our solution. As you can see here, at iteration 20, we arrive at our acceptable amount of error, and these are the x values that provide that. As you can see here, iterative numerical methods are best solved through either Excel, MATLAB, Python, or really any other coding language. This is because iterative numerical methods are very tedious to perform by hand and very easy to make a mistake with. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of how we can solve a system of linear equations using the Jacobi iteration method in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to address your concerns.